It's RT Spacer with you. Today I'll be redoing iRock Drive, the stretch connecting the home of a new leaf. I'd like to show you just how I went from this to that. I just felt it was time. On the edges, it was falling apart. The lines were fading, almost like you'd see on an actual roadway, only this was not intentional. The thing is, what I originally created was closer to six inches wide, not four inches wide, like the play tape I've been using. I think that's the widest size they have available. It's gonna take a little bit of precise cutting and measuring, but I'm willing to go through all that just to keep this street as wide as it's been, about five inches, three quarters. Ultimately, I've had to edit this video down. It was that long, but I'd like to post something a little less edited down over on my Patreon page. So I'll have that posted there for those who want to see a less edited down version of this video. Um, it's still going to end up being long, so just sit back, relax. Hope you enjoy. Let's roll. Now, if I wanted to, I could just pull this whole entire strip right off. But in order to make the next step after that easier, I'm doing this in segments. Hopefully you'll understand as I go along here. Of course, of course. Now I didn't expect for the paint that I applied on the original strip that showed to come off this easily. All the way across. The stripe that play tape created is still perfectly intact. It's just a little faded. So next from here, I'm simply applying the replacing layer Again, I'm doing this in segments in order to get the desired width for this road. I'm going for about five inches and three quarters. And you'll see what I mean at the end.
So this is what I'm cutting off next, is this white stripe. I want that on the edge here. Once I've done that, I'll be good to go. And this is probably the hardest part right here since I can't really see exactly where I am underneath. Well, this took a lot of measuring, cones getting knocked over, disintegrated paint everywhere. It's fine with me. All in a good day's work. Now the reason for this was to make the road that much more truck and trailer friendly. I noticed they wouldn't fit in the lanes. Um, play tape, if you get it, is four inches wide. I'm pretty sure that's the largest size they offer. Now just to show you with the tape measure, this stops at exactly 5 inches 3 quarters, just short of 6. So I would say in the future I would definitely like to see an even wider uh, strip of tape made available. So it's not perfectly even on both sides but I'm okay with it because I've seen that in real life before the main objective for me was to make this wider on either side so that it's more truck and trailer friendly and also bike friendly so before long I'll have some arrows maybe a bike symbol painted on this just to indicate this is a bike friendly street doing a quick test run here RT Spacer with you. It's time for me to get rolling. <laughs> 